Shana Tova. What will your legacy be? Our tradition teaches that as we sit here today, the book of life is open and we are in a time of reflection and repentance. The book is open from now until Yom Kippur when it is sealed. My hope for everyone here on behalf of the board and the leadership is that you're enshrined in the book of life. It's a very interesting and beneficial practice that we go through every year to look back and to acknowledge and to correct those things which we have done wrong and to look to make those right to the people that we have harmed and affected. And in looking to the past, we try to set a better course for the future. A reoccurring theme throughout Judaism is reflection and preservation of the past while maintaining relevance moving forward into the future. In fact, it's the very nature of our movement, the conservative movement. To conserve the traditions of our past while making Judaism more modern and relevant for current and future generations. It is the age-old battle between tradition and adapting to an ever-changing world and times. This is a unique aspect of conservative Judaism, a unique aspect that must be preserved as it is the legacy of so many American Jews. In understanding and appreciating the importance and relevance of Beth Yishurin, it's illustrative to look at the past of the history of our synagogue and the legacy of those members, their legacy to Beth Yishurin, the Jewish community, the city, and the nation. I am proud to announce here today that on January 25th of this year, the Texas Historical Commission, through the hard and persistent work of some dedicated congregants led by Glenn Rosenbaum and Gary Swartz, designated Bethy Shuren as a recorded Texas historical landmark. <clears throat> this designation is based on both Bethy Shuren's historical significance and the building's architectural significance. Glenn and his team created a narrative for the state highlighting Bethy Shuren's worthiness as a historical landmark. A vast majority of that information was obtained from Mr. Furman's work at Rice with the Jewish Archives, as well as a thorough, detailed history published in the Jewish Herald Voice compiled by our congregant Lonnie Schooler. While it is impossible in the time allotted to provide a detailed and rich history of Bethy Shuren, its members, and the contributions they have made to the community, I wanted to provide you with a few reasons why the state of Texas designated the building we are sitting in today and praying in today a, a historical landmark. As many of you know, Beth Yishurin was formed in 1946 through the merger of two predecessor synagogues, Adath Yishurin, an Orthodox congregation, formed in 1891, and Beth El, a conservative congregation, formed in 1925. The merger took several years to consummate, with the main sticking point being an organ in the main sanctuary. The merger was com completed with what was known as the Great Compromise. While an organ would be permitted in the main sanctuary, Bethy Shurn would also provide a sanctuary without an organ and a more traditional service. This allowed Bethy Shurn to serve both communities and allowed us to provide more op worship opportunities. That sanctuary is still active with a daily minion today known as the J.B. Greenfield Chapel. This duality created a unique, diverse culture for Bethy Shurn and it is part of Bethy Shurn's legacy to the Jewish community. Our first senior rabbi, William S. Malev, was nationally prominent in the conservative movement and was a leader in advancing women's ritual rights. Full equality was subsequently achieved under our second rabbi, Jack Siegel. In 1954, Bethy Shurn established the Foundation School, which today is Bethy Shurn Day School. At that time, it was the only synagogue affiliated and operated facility of its kind in the United States. The success of the day school students throughout its history their education, their, their education and dedication to Judaism, as evidenced with many in this room today having gone there, as well as one person before you speaking today. It is the continuing legacy of the day school. The congregation Bethy Shuren is made up of people. Throughout its history, Bethy Shuren's members have not only influenced the Jewish community, but also Houston, Texas, and the national communities. There are so many impressive, prominent members, past and present, I cannot list them all. So today I ask for forgiveness if I have not included you or your loved one. In the category of, these are the shoes I could never fill. During World War II, past Congregational President A.I. Sheps was a chemical warfare officer in Patton's Third Army. He landed on Utah Beach on D-Day, participated in the Battle of the Bulge and the liberation of the Flossenburg concentration camp. Most importantly, A.I. Sheps was the chairman of the building committee for this beach nut facility, which is now a historical landmark and just added to his legacy. In the category of the legacy of Clutch City, 
Indirectly responsible for bringing Houston its first major sports title, Billy Goldberg, a lawyer, banker, and businessman, was a member of the group that purchased and relocated the San Diego Rockets to Houston. Goldberg also served as chairman of the Texas Democratic Party, and during World War II, he served on Douglas MacArthur's staff. And in the category of why am I not giving this speech while you are fasting, Milton Levitt served as the chief executive of Grocer Supply, which became one of the 400 largest companies in the United States. Mr. Levitt served on the boards of MD Anderson and the Jewish Community Center. He served in the Navy during World War II, spending two years in the South Pacific. And of course, Freeman Levitt Sanctuary is named for his family. The historic legacy of Bethany Shurn is unique in excellence among the American synagogues. I'm excited to announce that in order to sustain this leg legacy, to preserve our religious community, and to provide for the maintenance of our architecturally significant building, we are embarking on a congregation-wide comprehensive campaign and launching our very own legacy society. Bethany Shurn and conservative Judaism in general is at a critical juncture in its history and growth. Bethany Shurn is both bucking and part of the trend. We are bucking the trend in that our membership is growing. Our services and programs are well attended. Our congregants are well engaged. We are following the trend in that the model of running the synagogue based solely on dues will not provide for long-term sustainability. But as we are in this time of self-reflection, it's time to stop looking to a fixed blame and to look at ourselves. This Rosh Hashanah, we should try something new. We should make attempts to change something new and different to really engage those in our midst with the financial ability to think and act aggressively, proactively, and generously to support initiatives that we have created and to try new experiments in congregational programming, services, and financing. To that end, and to ensure that our synagogue continues to thrive for the next generation, we must identify an inclusive funding structure with our congregational community that generates the dollars necessary to fulfill our sacred vision and mission. An enhanced endowment is essential for Bethy Shuren as it creates a permanent, ongoing source of income. In celebrating the launch of our Legacy Society, those who make meaningful contributions to the endowment, in addition to other forms of recognition, will be invited to join us for an incredible evening at the Wortham Theater on May 17th, where canners and musicians from across the country will present a, a magnificent musical performance. This incredible evening will be chaired by Cindy Weinstein and Sharon Crost. We will hold a special Shabbat service at the congregation recognizing all the members of the Legacy Society. This endeavor is the single most important thing I will do as president. If not now, when? At this time, I ask you to think about a meaningful way that you and your family can support Bethy Shuren. Meaningful to you. Meaningful because you and your family not only care about the here and now of Bethy Shuren, but about the future generations of Bethy Shuren, the legacy of Bethy Shuren, and where your family's legacy fits within this historical landmark that we sit in today. Information about the Legacy Society will be mailed to you, and you may receive a phone call from the clergy, leadership, our staff, or maybe even me in my spare time. And maybe, just maybe, 30, 40, 50, 60 or so years from now, your child, grandchild, great-grandchild, great-great-grandchild might be standing before the congregation today talking about the legacy of the people who sat in this room today who made a difference, who ensured the future and guaranteed the success of Bethy Shuren. The legacy of Bethy Shuren has been and will continue to be serving the spiritual needs of its community with its clergy and members making the synagogue, Jewish community, city, and country a better place. What will your legacy be? A Shana Tovah.